Hello, teacher. Do you have a minute? I need your help, please. It will be just a minute. Hello, Adam. Sure. Tell me, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Well, I do everything to learn English, but I feel I am not learning. I have tried many ways to learn and practice English, but I feel I am not improving teacher. I have thought about it. Maybe there is something I'm doing wrong. Right, teacher? Maybe. I know you are really interested in learning English, Adam. You're always participating in class. I will help you, okay? Tell me something. What method do you use to study English? Maybe that is not the right method for you. Well, I do a lot of things. I mean, I have tried many things, but I will tell you. I hope you can help me. For example, I watched a video on YouTube. They said you could learn English by listening to that video. Well, that's good. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about learning English. Yeah, but it is a video to listen while you're sleeping. Learn English while sleeping. They say you can learn English by listening to that 7 hours video every night. Well, I have tried that, but I don't know if it's working. What do you think? Well, I have seen those kind of videos, to be honest. I don't think that's a good way to learn English. I don't think it's scientifically proven. I mean, I have been teaching English for more than 15 years and I haven't seen any student who has learned English only by listening to an audio or video while they sleep. To practice something, you need to be awake. To speak, listen, read. I mean, you can try that method, it's fine, but just to complement your study routine. That's the thing. Yeah, I knew it was too good to be real. I am so stupid. I'm really sorry. No, don't say that. You are a great student. It's great you try different ways to learn English. Thank you, teacher. I also use the method of translating everything from my language to English. One partner recommended me to do that. He said that is the best way to learn English. The translation method of learning English is very popular among non-English speaking countries. We feel that if we think in our mother tongue and then translate it word by word into English, we are going to be English language experts. Never think in your mother tongue and then translate it. Well, you can do it at the beginning, but then you have to leave that habit. It will lead to incorrect sentence formation. This is what you're going to do. Think about something in English and express it with your words. With regular use of this technique, you can make sentences quickly and start speaking naturally. Oh, thank you, teacher. Oh, I also use the method of learn English when you want. I saw this on a video. They said I have to practice my English only when I want to. Because it's not good to study English when you don't want to. Because of motivation. Learn English when you want? All right, I'm going to tell you something very important. Do not start learning a foreign language if you do not have time for this. Seriously. Any knowledge needs constant improvement and practice. Try to study less, but more often. Spend 10 to 15 minutes a day learning English. Use special programs, textbooks, and techniques. Motivation is good, but discipline is even more important. You need to do it regularly. I see. You're right, teacher. I always think of grammar rules while talking to someone in English. That's another method I use to speak English correctly. That way, I make sure I don't confuse. 
Let's see. Do not forget that grammar is important, but the main purpose of your conversational classes is to learn how to communicate in English fluently, if you take much time to choose. A proper grammatical construction or remain silent, being afraid of making mistakes. You will not be able to learn how to talk fluently. And I am not telling you, forget about grammar. Of course not. Grammar is important, but don't think of grammar rules while talking to someone in English. All right, teacher, I won't do it anymore. Oh, I also, I use a specific method to improve my listening. I try to understand and translate every word spoken by the interlocutor. Do not listen to all the words of the interlocutor and do not focus on separate phrases, especially unfamiliar ones. Better concentrate on those that you know. Try to catch the general sense of what was said. Do not hesitate to ask your interlocutor to repeat his words. If you could not hear something or did not understand it, they will repeat or explain it in other words. Oh, okay, teacher. I also learn the words on the cards and always write down unfamiliar words. No, do not write down separate words. Learn them in the context. Memorizing phrases and their translation. Write down such phrases only when you come across an unfamiliar word. A second time and still are unable to remember its meaning. Create a separate notebook or document. In your smartphone, laptop write down these phrases only there. Do you get it? Yes, teacher. I understand. Oh, I also use this method. I use books with translation into my native language. Is that okay? There are books in which English text alternate with its translation into your native language. One paragraph of English, then one paragraph of another language. I'm going to tell you something. There is very little chance that this will help you learn new words. If something is not clear, just find out the meaning of the unfamiliar word. You should try to read original text using a dictionary. Oh, that makes sense. I will do that. Thank you very much, teacher. Another method I use is. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have a class right now. I'm really sorry, but come back whenever you want. Oh, sure, teacher. And what about you, guys? What method do you use to study English? Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend and if you want.